Hi guys, and welcome to part 44 of Skyrim Mod Sanctuary. Now, in part 42 of this series, I covered crossbows, and I covered quite a few large crossbows, very suitable for warrior types. But, if you're more of a sort of sneaky assassin type, perhaps you're looking for something a little smaller. And the first mod I'm going to show you gives you two different crossbows, both of them that can be held in one hand. A standard one-handed crossbow, as you can see, and a dwarven version of the same thing. Now, the main crossbow is fairly obviously auto-feed. As you can see, there seems to be a sort of cartridge. And when you fire it, you place it down by your leg. So I'm assuming you're drawing the string back with some type of hook or device on your leg. I don't see one, but that's what I'm assuming. I will show you the animation. If you... You go down here, and you fire. Now, you will notice that the animation is not perfect. It's not pointing when it fires. I'm hoping that the mod author may be able to fix that at some point, but it looks more like he's using an animation for a spell or something. However, still not bad at all. But it means that you can actually dual wield these things, and even... Fire both at the same time. Now, the dwarven version of this seems to have a kind of drum feed, and it doesn't have a string, so I'm assuming it's, I don't know, steam-powered, and that the crossbow piece itself is there for ornamentation. But it is more like a steam-powered pistol. But, of course, you could also use spells whilst firing this weapon. So if you're a mage type character, but you're not using destruction, this is definitely a viable alternative. Now the first person play is pretty cool. Um, you hold the fire key down and then you release it. And at first you think you have to wait for a click and then you release. But in actual fact, you can release your finger from the mouse button, the fire button, as soon as the crossbow dips, and therefore you get slightly fire firing rate. Slightly faster firing rate, excuse me. Which is kind of nice. This is a really, really good weapon to kill mages with, if you want to use something like the wards. But for a dual-wielding assassin type, this is actually very cool. Two bolts at once. Lot of damage. And very fast fire. And you can even stagger them. So, all in all, great little crossbows and a great little mod. Now, the next mod is for all you vampire lords out there. Um, if you enjoy using the vampire form and you take Serana along as a companion, uh, you may find yourself getting a little irritated that she never changes to vampire lord form alongside you. I mean, it only makes sense. Well, the next mod makes her do just that, so that when you enter vampire lord form, so does she. Now, the mod is called Serana Secret. And as you can see, it turns her into a vampire lord alongside you. And she will use bat form to actually catch up with you if you go running far, far ahead. There she is. Now, there is actually a new version of this. This is version 1. There is a new version where she has a cloak and a slightly better look, apparently. But at the moment, I have not been able to get that particular version working for some reason. Maybe it needs a clean save. I am not sure. I will update this video if I find out. Uh, so, but version 1 is good enough for me. I think it's absolutely brilliant. So this mod, very simple idea um, and brilliant. I mean, it's the sort of thing you think to yourself, this should have been here from the start. And the last mod I am going to show you is a mod that is inspired by one of my favourite ever games. And that game is Portal, and Portal 2, I guess, as well. Um, for those of you who have never played Portal or Portal 2, 
which, to be honest, stuns me uh, because they are absolutely superb and you guys should try them out. I mean, I know some people are not into puzzle type games, but those games are just so much fun. I can't even begin to describe it. You, you really should try them. Hilariously funny uh, and great. But this mod basically tries to mimic something similar to that. It gives you two tomes in Farangar's room, uh, the light portal and the dark portal. Uh, you scribe those, go along to your alteration and you will have a dark portal and a light portal. And very similar to the game, you can now cast those two portals. I will cast one over there. There is my dark portal, and I will cast the light portal here. And what actually happens is, if I enter the light portal, it sends me out of the dark portal, and vice versa. Um, and this will teleport you as far as you like. I mean, basically, it will go anywhere. Um, I can put my portal up there. Oh, excuse me. There you go. Portal up there. Then I go in here, and out I will drop. Up here. Now, there are some limitations. It's not quite as um, as powerful as the portal gun in Portal. Um, for example, one of the things in Portal is if I'd have done this and then jumped in, I would have gained momentum, and then I would have flown out like a bullet. And that isn't working, although apparently he's trying to work on that, and the latest version does say you have some momentum. Uh, but I've not really noticed it. It seems to be momentum in the same direction you were travelling. Um, which is, you know, I mean, that's probably something that's going to be very difficult to do. So, as I had momentum going down, it gave me more momentum. Uh, the only thing I can imagine is perhaps if I place the portal there and then jumped in, I would get, I would keep the momentum because I would come out falling down. Now even then, as you see, it's actually uh, brought me out in front of, uh, sorry, above the um, ceiling. So as you can see, there are some issues, but let's face it, this game was not designed to have this kind of spell. So I'm, sh I mean, I'm sure the mod author will try and get some, uh, some changes done, but it's actually a lot of fun. It lets you get to a lot of places you wouldn't be able to get. But you can also use it as a sort of um, recall spell. So you can wander off, wander to a dungeon somewhere, as I will show you. Well, I'm not going to go to a dungeon, I'm going to go outside, because I'm way too lazy to run all the way to a dungeon just to show you this. And then cast it. Oh. I would like it to be faster casting so I can play with it. <laughs> and then enter the portal and off I go back to the other one. And let's just say I had a quest here. I go, I finish the quest and I want to go back to where I came from. I can do the same thing again and again. So it is actually quite useful. Now one of the interesting things about this is um, you can actually cause NPCs and, um, well, monsters, I guess, to, um, as I said, it's not a very fast casting spell, to get sucked into the uh, portal as well, and then you can follow them through. Got the fleet of <laughs> and the there you go. So now you've actually got a way to get your horse into... Oh, and unfortunately my horse hit the portal as I turned around. But as you can see... There are several ways you can have quite a lot of fun, including, I would imagine, having a uh, dragon teleport in, which would be um, quite amusing. <laughs> and of course, you can have quite a lot of fun. Getting to places you really don't belong, or removing people. Who annoy you? Ha <laughs> ha Oh, I feel better already. So, if you're looking for a convenient way to travel around Skyrim, or just an entertaining way to cause complete chaos, this mod may well be for you.
Now, installation for all three of these mods is very trivial. Um, if you go along to Skyrim Nexus for the one-handed crossbow, it is single file, download with manager and activate as usual. Uh, the mod author is um, keen to point out that this mod is not finished. It is a beta and uh, he is open to constructive criticism. So, you know, be sure as to give some, but be nice. Um, Serana Secret, that is, there are two files now. That is the old version, version 1, which I am using, and version 2. Now, after making the video footage, I did notice that the mod author has said that version 2 might require a clean save, uh, which, if you don't know how to do, is relatively simple. Um, you would simply go along to your mod section, go along to Serana Secret version 1 and deactivate it. Then what you would do is you would load your save game, save it again immediately. That save is now clean. It has no reference to this mod. You would then quit the game, activate the new version, version 2, and then go back in game and try your clean save. And hopefully that will work. If it doesn't work, Version 1 is working great for me. Uh, I'm not that worried too much about how she looks. Um, I just like the fact that she changes into a vampire lady. Is it vampire lady when it's female? I don't know. And to install the portal mod, portal dynamically placed teleportation, again, just go along to the file section, download with manager on the latest version and activate in Nexus mod manager. Very, very simple. And as usual, I'm going to finish with some screenshots that you guys have made. If you want to post screenshots for me to put in these videos, you can follow the link I'll put down below to my Skyrim Mod Sanctuary Nexus page and post the images there. Um, you're more than welcome to do that and I will try and post as many as I can each episode. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. If it was, please click the like button. I always appreciate that. I look forward to seeing you guys on my next video, whatever that is. And until then, as always, have fun.